Hello internet, welcome back to the Ronaverse. Aaron here with what I presume will be the final episode of Pokemon Gaia. Previously, in the past couple episodes, we defeated these Elite Four members. Also pretty cool that you can challenge them in any order that you want. So we went Grass, Dark, Fighting, and Electric. And now, since I feel this is going to be the last episode, you know, just taking on the champion. Let's uh, take a look at this team one last time. We'll see how far they've grown since I last showed them before taking on the Pokemon League. Edna has seen the most use, of course, thanks to there being a Grass and a Fighting type Elite Four member. Each. Level 60 now. Same moves. Still looking good. Still looking good. And now you're, you're still not holding anything, actually. Level 59, Rangu gained a level since we last saw him. He's been a really hard hitter, so he's exactly uh, doing what he's been. He was like, you know, poised to do from the get-go. Also, level 59 for Turtle, very useful for his earthquake in that electric type Elite Four dude. I forgot their name already, but um, Pogs in the chat for Turtle right here, pulling off that uh, black sludge stall. With all that HP and uh, plus defense stat, so you know he's balling, he's balling. Dolly didn't see much use, but she was still useful somehow with her mega form and these uh, OP moves that I have for her. Not once I've actually started setting up light screen, so I don't know if that's actually useful, but we'll just keep that on her anyway because we don't really have a choice. Next up, Ballsy. With her never melt ice did not actually equip that on her till last minute and uh, she still has three ice type moves and one water type move so no real diversity there but that's not really her forte anyway so that's all good and lastly eve the umbreon <clears throat> um stall this is like our stall annoying stall pokemon ridiculous hp defense and special defense along with holding leftovers and has Scummy Toxic, along with Screech and Confuser. Literally, the only attacking move this guy has is Bite. And um, it, it worked for us somehow in that <clears throat> a couple times. So anyway, um, even though this is the, the box art Pokemon is Regigigas, I looked around at the forums one last time to see if uh, you can actually catch Regigigas. And apparently, I don't, I don't think you can. Maybe we'll check that out shortly after we uh, maybe in a... Uh, I'll do that in a different episode if you can actually do it. I checked like the Excel sheet that came with the readme files in uh, Pokemon Gaia and it doesn't it doesn't show. It doesn't show like oh there's a static encounter here for Regigigas. No, it doesn't. But I apparently saw one that there's a static encounter for fucking Deoxys in Cosmic Caverns. I don't know. I don't know where to find that. I explored that place I thought like profusely and I didn't see anything there, so um, maybe we'll maybe we'll explore that at another time or maybe we won't I just want this uh, series to be over to be honest because I want to move on to a different hack also by the time recording this Pokemon Saffron has also ended so yeah I'm looking for a new Pokemon hack and I'll reveal that when I release that episode I guess anyway um, enough stalling we've been talking for three minutes I uh, let's just let's just go to the champion let's just go to the champion I'm gonna start off with Crobat, my trusty sidekick. Because I just don't know what Herschel's gonna start off with. Ah! Right on time, Bodoy. Come, let's skip the pleasantries. We both know each other. All that matters is the battle. Give me all you've got, I will not hold back. Alright. Final battle here. It all comes down to this. My man, my man, champion Herschel, looking really beefy actually. Pretty good looking for an old guy, not gonna lie. Starts off with the Waylord. Oh, shoot. He's going to Wallace on me. I don't like the look of this. Uh, mm. Mm -mm -mm. You're definitely going to start off with the fucking... I think Water Spout, maybe? So I want to get you to as low HP as possible to start with. We're going to outspeed, thank goodness. Now, you have plenty of HP, but I don't think your defense is all that good. Oh, that's good. Oh, fuck. You have Ice Beam. I didn't even realize. Are we going to die here? That is the question. Oh, shit, we tanked that like a fucking boss. Okay. One more acrobatics. You're not gonna full restore. That's not in a full restore range. So we take you out. We didn't even need that crit. 
Salt to the wound, Edna. Salt to the wound. Yan Mega. Next up. Uh, does this have... Okay, this is a bug flying. So we can use either Dali or Rangu. I kind of want this thing to be gone immediately because it has that scummy speed boost, I can tell. I think you're going to be faster than me to start off with too, so... That's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. I don't know what you have in preparation for me. I'm just going to hit you hard with Flare Blitz. Oh, detect. It's a good thing that we uh, PP up for Flare Blitz. Else we wouldn't have any more PP. Yep, there it is. Speed boost. Oh dear. Not a fan of that. Okay. Gosh, I have so much PP for Flare Blitz. I thought I thought that this was like one of those uh, moves that only had 5 PP. Anyway, try it again. Air Slash? Oh no, forgot we're part fighting type. Well, that was awful. This Flare Blitz is absolutely gonna kill us. I just hope it kills him too. Awesome critical hit again? What? And we died. So no experience there, but it's okay. Uh, you know, easy trade right there. But it kind of favors me. Because I'm only down one and he's now down two. What's bad though is I don't know what he's going to send out next. So we're going to need we need to send out like a safe option here. What do we send out as a safe option? Uh... Hmm... Let's just send Edna back out. Who cares? Alright. What else do you have? Alakazam? Okay. Okay, I see you. That's bad for me, though. Oh, dear. Um, unless I can kill you in one hit, you are gonna, you're gonna you gonna psychic the fuck out of me. Yeah, I made sure to respect this game. I did not research the Pokemon that Herschel would have. Wait a minute. You're the Mega. Fuck. That makes it worse. I just remembered. This is the same Alakazam that helped me teleport to those Elder Knights and those stone tablets. Jesus. Uh, oh, I have x Scissor though. Right? x Scissor. if I outspeed you, this should kill. Because it's a physical type attack and Alakazam's defense is pretty much non-existent. Let's try it. Wait, you didn't, you didn't Mega Evolve? What's going on there? I thought that was your Mega. Are you just flexing on me? Do you have multiple Megas, Herschel? Oh, shoot. Okay. That was a one-shot. Thank you, Edna. Okay, uh, next up was uh, Mamoswine. Mamoswine. Oh, damn. I really would have loved Rangu. That's fine. That is fine. Hmm. Ice Ground. Ice Ground. We can, you can, we can hit hard, I think. With Ballsy, maybe. I always keep forgetting if... Water is not very effective against ice or vice versa. I can never tell them apart, honestly. Let's waterfall. Let's just test it out. Okay. So waterfall... The, no. Water type does regular damage to ice. And ice is not very effective against water. That's not going to do anything. Because we're like four times not very effective against ice types right now. Sucks to be you, dude. One more waterfall... I like that uh, my moves aren't hitting them hard enough to be in full restore range, but more than good enough to be in two hit range. Two co, two co right there for Ballsy. Pogs, tan growth. Um, fuck it, we'll stay in. Why, why not? Why not? We got plenty of health left. I can take this on. Question is, if I can outspeed it, I can kill it with a blizzard. I'm sure of that, but I don't want to risk missing. I'm gonna go ice beam. Oh, yeah, do, we do outspeed. It's actually really good. Alright. Um, that's 2-co as well. But I think you're gonna 1-co me. I'm not sure. Let's just check on that. No, not really. But you're gonna get a lot of HP back. I mean... I'd say that's doable. I'd say that's doable, actually. I think we can KO you here. Maybe get a high roll or something? Oh, yes, we can. Hell yeah. I don't know if that was a high roll or anything, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Level 59 right now. You earned that, Ballsy. You really earned that. How many Pokemon's left? I, I didn't count. <clears throat> is there only two left? Salamans is next. Shoot. Um, You probably have Earthquake. That's why you're going to send that out. Either Earthquake or a Thunder uh, Electric type move. So what we're going to do, I think... We're not going to outspeed it at all that's for sure 
We can, uh... I guess we can try to take it on with Dolly. We can Mega Evolve and then go Dragon Pulse it. You have Earthquake though, I can tell you do. I feel like you have some OP coverage moves. Let's risk it, let's risk it. Um, nothing can outspeed a Salamence, I feel. Neither of my uh, Salamence killers. Oh shit! That's especially- that's your Mega. That's absolutely your Mega. Okay, Intimidate, uh, that won't matter, because we are a special type A attacker. And this is actually your last Pokemon, I didn't even notice that. Fuck. This is such a fast battle, I didn't even- wow. Alright, uh, we're gonna Mega, and you're gonna Mega too, but you're gonna move first. Are you gonna go for an Earthquake? I really feel like you're gonna go for an Earthquake. That's it right there. Mega Ampharos, and same for you. Bring it out, my dude, bring it out. I'll take it on head first. Oh shit, that looks great. Sweet icon, my dude. Yep, that's gonna... That's probably gonna one-shot me. I really feel like that's gonna one-shot me. No doubt about it. Oh the fuck. How do we live that so easy? Oh my god. And we kill you. Did we just won? That's it? Well, that's it. Ladies and gents, that's it. I am speechless myself, Herschel. I knew you were talented, but that was a superb display. Bravo, dude. That was so fucking easy, and you are the cheapest champion of all of them. You only gave me 6,000 Poké Dollars? Dude. Oh my god. That's fine, though. Bodoy. It's my pleasure to crown you the Orbchus Pokemon League Champion. It is about time I pass the reins onto somebody younger. Your passionate bond with your Pokemon is a rare quality and has rewarded you bountifully. Uh, there is one final reward to reap. Please follow me. Alright, I shall follow you. Aww, oh, this is some sweet music. Starting town music. I like this. Kind of like a bittersweet feeling. You know Suffering from success. I don't know. Welcome to the Orbitus Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions dating back years have their achievements recognized here. It is my honor to induct you amongst a pantheon of great trainers. Congratulations, Bodoy. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Alright. Ladies and gents, that was Pokemon Gaia. And this is going to be a quick feature of our champion team. Let's see this shit. Let us see this shit. Crobat, MVP, easy. Infernape, also MVP. Venusaur, acceptable. Ampharos, Dolly, come on out there. Ballsy the Walrein. And finally, Eve the Umbreon. Alright. That's our team right there. You know what I'm gonna do? Real quick, you're not gonna see this in the recording, but I will actually... Do a quick screen capture because I want I feel like I feel really proud somehow of this um, whole thing I'm gonna go to my YouTube folder don't mind me guys just listen to my voice you don't have to see anything this video has to offer right now and then I will put it on my Gaia folder I will write champion team you're not gonna see any of that in recording because um, well OBS just likes to do that there we are and that's me <clears throat> Bodoy the female Bodoy. Finish this shit in 37 hours. Jesus Christ. I feel like that's... That really has to do with all the speed ups I did. I just love speeding up this game. Especially on the trainers and the uh, straight paths. Yeah. Telmark. I'm looking at you. Tel oh, underground pass and Telmark. Alright. Roll credits. I want to see this shit. I want to see this shit. Okay. <clears throat> so. um, Evaluation of the game. Let me just say. Pokemon Gaia literally is the most polished ROM hack game, without a doubt. And that's not coming lightly, you know, coming from a guy like me. I can say I'm pretty well versed in the English language. And I can tell you that this is probably the first ROM hack I've ever played through all the way that did not have a single ounce of grammatical errors here and there spherical ice mr doll stick these guys are incredible honestly i'm checking around in the poke community forums and these guys are literally like 
veterans are like very well respected people in this in their field i really have to give them uh, props i feel like i did spherical ice a favor by using a spheal in this playthrough too i think that's his favorite pokemon i looked at his profile and didn't you know spheal is literally his profile picture and spherical ice you can already tell from the name itself uh yeah pretty good stuff pretty good stuff um i love too that they also did the time like spent time um making this credit scene here look at that look at that is that custom animations what the fuck they didn't have to do any of this and they did might i remind you this is free everything they're doing is for free they didn't earn a single cent out of this that's what i love about like something like pokemon rom hacking they do all this shit out of passion like no incentives whatsoever i think this is as close as we're ever gonna get to altruism providing everyone with amazing quality uh custom-made pokemon games for no price at all well you know because it's also illegal to do so but seriously if it was legal i would honestly go out of my way to donate even just a little bit to this game to these people because they literally deserve to be paid for work like this people the poke uh, fucking game freak is paid to do this shit employees at game freak are paid to do this shit and they're doing it for free that's what amazes me that's what makes me keep coming back to the to the pokemon rom hacking community hell yeah yeah all right so this is like a uh, special thanks Gaius fans. Hell yeah. Mostly being patient? Dude. That's the least we can do. We're not paying a cent for any of this. I would gladly wait how long it's gonna be. How, however long, dude. Version 4 is already in production too. So yeah. Uh, there is actually a version 4 coming uh, along the way. This version, the one I'm playing, version 3, yeah, does not have any post-game. Um... So yeah, if you're dying to catch Regigiga, stay tuned for version 4. Uh, this game does not have Regi the Regis catchable or anything. Um, so you can watch out for that. I don't think I'm actually going to do the, po the post game anymore for version 4. Because um, like they said, save files in version 3 will not be compatible with version 4 and onwards. So if I want to play it, that means I literally have to replay the entire game all over again. And for me, that, that means I, I'm going to have to play it three times now and even though i love the game it does get a little bit tedious and repetitive that's gonna i don't want it to end up like how i feel about regular pokemon games like how how much i've already replayed them you know that's how i got so bored of pokemon games in the first place the official ones and i switched to rom hacks because they were a fresh new experience repeating games over and over again especially in just one game at a time like pokemon gaia if i do it all over and over again it's um it's gonna turn repetitive too so i don't think i'm gonna play it anymore it is gonna be sad though i do want to explore stuff like we didn't even reach kato surf island yet we didn't even see what that place is all about and i would have loved to see more stuff but you know what i'm okay with that i'm okay with that uh we're gonna go back to the title screen here just want to see what change or like where we where we end up now there's any extra bonus text yep i will continue bodoy oh there's some extra text here what's poppin homeboy ho ho what's up my dude what's with the face yeah i talk like this now what the fuck actually you're like super dreaming i'm the voice of a higher being Ooh. so the hack maker's talking right anyway you know this is like the end of version 3.0 right so like you can go back to the 10 million rock, rock climb parts you missed or fight the battle marsh yeah um, we dedicated literally one whole episode to find rock climb parts and we I figured I realized at the end that I didn't even explore all, all of them. So he's not even wrong here But other than that is gonna be another four year gap before I I mean before spherical ice Finishes the post game for Gaia in the meantime. Thanks for playing Okay, that's it. There's literally nothing we can do anymore in this game. So That's great. That's great. This team shall forever live in What's the opposite of infamy? Femi? This game shall forever live in fami. Or however you'd say that. My team. Um, they will be immortalized through this recording. Through my playthrough. 
and I figured I'm never gonna forget about this game ever again good stuff right on time lizard all right um so hope you enjoyed the series um like I said earlier I don't really know what else I'm gonna play for now uh we're gonna have to watch out maybe I'm thinking about Pokemon Cyan I'm thinking uh, there's also Pokemon um I don't know I don't know uh I've downloaded a lot of stuff. I've actually downloaded plenty of ROM hacks. These, this isn't the only ROM hack I have. So, and also those also have full storylines, I feel. So that's going to be more content for the, I don't know, two people who actually watch my channel or something. Anywho, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you so much for staying along, keeping watching this series. And uh, let me know if I missed anything because I will gladly get those off screen and not actually make a video. Dude. Seriously, Pokemon Gaia, there's a read me. You don't even need a walkthrough of this game. You just read the fucking read me's, my dude. Anyway, yeah. Peace out, everyone. Have a good night or day or afternoon or whatever time of day you're watching this in the far future or whatever. <laughs>